Hi there! In this episode I will show you how to make some basic and maybe a little bit more advanced animations in editor mode and how to put it on the timeline in correct place with perfect timing and just long story short I will show you how to count the beat or bars, calculate the proper length of the animation and long story short how to start with the laser show. But first of all let's go to the settings to connect and assign my laser cube to the layer. So, here are the settings. Okay, I have to turn on my laser cube first. I'm afraid you will hear a bit high pitch noise from the fan, but I have no idea how to avoid that noise, so you will have to get used to it if you would like to see the laser projector in action. So, first of all, click here to scan for new DAC, which is digital to analog converter. Here is my laser cube. Okay, and now we can go with the laser on with test frame. Okay, let's check it out. And voila! Yes, we have the projection. As you probably remember and already know, we have to use correct settings. Here are my settings that I really like and uh, recommend for a laser cube 2.5 Pro. That's what I'm using right now. So you will get uh, results as you can see. But as you probably see here, my output power is uh, very reduced because that's looking better on the camera. All right, now we can go with our audio file because as you can see, there is no waveform over here. So our file, audio file is not loaded. Also here we have information that no audio found it. Okay, let's go with this uh, sample audio file. Let's wait till it be loaded. All right, first things first, we already connected laser projector loaded audio file we have layer 2 so we can go with the making some animations but what is important at this stage uh, for me if you would like to make very synchronized show then it's important to find proper place where to find with animations I'm trying to keep the phrase the bars or tags keep all together. As uh, I said at the very beginning when we uh, talked a bit about the music basics and the most important things regarding the music and the song, how it is built and with what parts the music is created, then you already know that keeping the tags is very important. So here's our sample song made by me many years ago, so sorry for the quality, but as you know, due to copyrights, I can't use some Tiesto or Armin van Buren or any other superstar, so you have to listen to my song. Sorry, guys. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And here we have new phrase. Um, our waveform already is showing us a little hint where the beat is started and it's here as we can hear and count one more time three four one two three four one two three four one two three four and after 16 beats we have new phrase because something started to happen in the song something new started to happen like the build up starting to rise or something like this i have no idea how to call it properly right now sorry guys but i hope you understood so the first probably 32 beats took about 15 seconds and then a new new phrase started but okay we can choose this 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 part as a starter for our our animation 
because it's the beginning of the phase, beginning of the new tact, and this will be perfect. Um, so, what to do first? As we found the proper place, we have to show to editor mode where should start our animation. To do that, you have to click on the layer and you will see that little marker over here. For example, if we move the uh, time stamp or time marker, then we will see that our marker on the layer is still over here. And that means if we go to the editor mode in a second, then um, it will start over here. Let me show you. Okay, let's go back here, play. Okay, go to editor mode. Let's prepare it as I showed you once. So grid square, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Frame one out of one, because we all only one frame have have already at the moment. Let's go with the length, something regular, two seconds. Okay, and now we see part of the waveform, part of the song, which has 120 frames, which is about two seconds right, right now. And let's check it. Okay, and now we are sure that this snippet of the song is starting exactly in the same and the proper place um, that we uh, that we select before. But the thing we can hear, and I think it's very very clear, is that it's a bit too long. It's not for beats, but a bit longer, which is very harmful for my ears. <laughs> I, 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 I believe that your ears also hurt to, to hear that. So let me uh, play, the, play it one more time. Four. One, two, three, four. And this one, little bad boy, is the beginning of the second tact, which is the fifth beat. So we have to make our animation a bit shorter or way more longer to keep it um, like musically symmetrical. Okay, so I believe there is somewhere here, here or here, we should close our part of four beats. Let's try with the frame 113. Let's change the the uh, duration of the, the animation and let's hear it. That's my way how I'm trying to fit the animation and, and find correct uh, length. I know some, sometimes um, it may be very um, hard to find that proper length, but it will, it's a matter of time when you will be uh, the master of uh, uh, fi finding uh, proper animation length. So let's check it out how it sounds like now. I think it's almost perfect loop, but let's check to uh, minus one frame. Let's start with the first frame and go. Yes, that's our length of uh, the animation um, in that song with that BPM. It's perfect. So the only thing we have to remember now is that four beats is 112 frames and we can multiply it. Uh, if we would like to make a uh, longer animation, we can go with uh, 224 or three, 336 animations. All depends if we would like to go with four, eight, uh, or 12 or maybe 16 beats animation long. I'm sure that we will be trying all different types of animation so it's the, just a matter of time for you to learn longer, shorter, more and less complex animations uh, with me. Just stay tuned and 
keep notes. Okay, we have proper length. So what is important for me when, when I am trying to came up with some animation is listening the music. What is happening with the song? What kind of emotions uh, we are hearing over here? And I think that is pretty obvious if we have a build up, then the tension is rising and we have to go with some something nice. And if something is rising, then it's good to put your beams from the bottom to the top, right? That's pretty, pretty obvious or maybe not obvious. That's just how I'm seeing the light in my imagination. So let's go with the animation. This will be uh, very interesting if we use two colors, primary color with uh, go from the one to the second. Let's start with the green. Let's finish with the, uh, sorry, <laughs> let's start with the red and finish with the green. Uh, repeat only one, one time in the same pace and direction, uh, stroke type. It can be um, just solid line. Okay, so let's draw a line from this uh, po point to this point. And what is also important in most situation, of course, to keep the projection, the line symmetrical. So if we start over here with the one square gap, then it's good to keep the same gap over here because this in this way we will have the nice, very nice symmetrical animation from the projector. Okay, now we have static object, so it's good to animate it. So let's click command here and let's move the that line to the top. Let's say here. It's also good to to remember where your animation is finishing. So let's say we are finishing next to the curve drawing tool because it will be important with the second animation if we would like to continue this one, the idea of this one, because this is what we have right now. So it's a very good uh, starting point for, for, for the more complex animation and this is what we will do soon but let's check how it looks like with the projector right now but very important thing i forgot to mention before when we started is to set some safety zone or blind zone over here because it would be bad for the pro uh, for my camera to mess up camera lens even more so Let's see how it looks like. Okay, let's see how it looks like. And okay, so let me keep my camera safe. I think it's perfect right now. All right, so we have a bit of smoke and our projector is turned on. Let's see how the animation looks live. Yes, it is amazing, but it's just the beginning. Okay, this looks very good. So for now we can send it to timeline and congratulations. That's your first animation ever created in editor mode and sent to the timeline. I'm impressed, congrats, but it's just the very beginning of your laser journey. Now we can check how it looks like on the big preview on the timeline and make sure if you put the animation in proper place. So let's hear the playback, watch the preview here and make sure if the animation is starting on the very first frame of your animation, of your laser show. Yes, it's of course in perfect place, but what now? We can go with the similar idea and continue this, uh, this animation. So let's go to the end of that animation. 
which is also the beginning of our new animation next for bits and put that little marker here so we'll see that and find that on the end of, of that animation so it will be also beginning of new animation go to editor mode the thing you are seeing right now is the last animation because we didn't delete it or replace with something else so we can of course click command on or control select function and delete or uh, something what I recommend has happened to be helpful is checking where that animation is ending right because we would like to continue the, the, the idea of this animation so let's go here to the very end to the last frame you can also go with the uh, arrow left right and to change the uh, the frame go to last and now you see that here is the animation ending perfect now we can delete it function backspace and we are clear so to continue the, the this one let's go with the green to the purple one but we will make some twist with the movement first of all let's draw that animation okay perfect but let's go to the first to the very first frame all right and now what is happening the only thing is changing is the, the, the color and the constant pace from green to purple but I would like to make some fancy movement let's make the line go down and up something like this It's okay but it's a bit lazy I would call it lazy we can go with the command and Z to undo and let's change the repeat to 2 let's see what will happen I think that is pretty pretty nice because we have some rhythm in the movement uh, actually two rhythms slow rhythm and a bit faster rhythm slow is for the color and a bit faster rhythm is for the movement okay perfect then we can send send it to timeline let's check how it looks like together nice nice it's 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 really nice okay sometimes you can see that um, no matter how perfect the length of your animation will be regarding the tacts or beats or something like this it will be for example a bit too long or too short like here we have one frame missing sometimes it happens and it has nothing in common with your wrong calculation but only with the specification of that software it's working in the frame system so sometimes it's just like some number with Point, point 0.5 point half right and that's the half we are missing right here so the one thing we are we we can do is make that animation a bit longer by stretching it so let's go with the very end on to the edge of that animation click and hold shift and stretch it here now we we didn't repeat the, the animation we have only one animation but it's a bit longer and fit perfectly to our uh, to our part of the song okay how to continue uh, this idea let's go to the editor mode delete this animation 
we can go with some stroke type change for now we have uh, we finished with the purple color let's keep it go to the stroke type which is dashed blanking let's go with the frank frequency 4.5 for now without touching the settings we will have something like this which is quite not good because of that little something over here so let's delete it let's keep it with the 4 and yeah we have perfect dashed line with four gaps five stripes but still we have just a static image right so let's change the repeat to one let's uh, or not maybe i have some different idea let's change our ratio this one ratio means the beginning of the animation how and where the, the animation will start and this is for the end of the animation or second half of the animation for now we have 50 50 which means it will start and finish in the same position okay so let's go with the full line solid line we and we'll go to the um, stroke to the dash line we had before let's see how it will look like okay perfect we are at the frame one right now solid line let's see what will happen okay that's very good and exactly what i wanted to make so let's send the timeline and quick check And I have some new idea because accordingly to the music we have, it would be good to continue this idea a bit longer because we have the, the music completely suggests us to make something like stretching, like like going slowly, 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 and change very intensive with the next phrase because this one we have the we have like ending of that phrase let's let's hear it one two three four and as you could hear here it's like the starting of the new phrase so sorry guys but we have to do that Let's go back to that, that animation and make it longer for, let's say, let's double it, two, two, four. Okay, timeline mode, we have to delete this one. Our marker is still here, so send to timeline, yep, it's longer. Perfect. So we can go with the animation over here. And as before, it's a bit too short, exactly one frame short, too short. We can hold shift and stretch it or edit it and change the length here to uh, 2 to 5. That both methods are good. So we can go with some idea for next phrase. Of course, would be good to keep this animation. We finished with something like this. All right. So to achieve this effect, we have to go with our ratio to 50-50. Let's select that, delete go back to the frame frame one you can also click zero to go to the start to the beginning and let's make the animation move 
these two offsets I was talking lately in the editor mode introduction are finally useful. As you can see, we have two offsets right now. And with this one, you will see the difference. Let's go with the offset, this, this offset, 360 degrees. Use this curve, repeat one, let's draw the line and see what is happening right now. Yes, our line started to move horizontally. This one is for horizontal movement. Yeah, let's let's say horizontal movement. Um, with the offset 360 degrees, we make that line to move like turn around 360. You can see that easily by the checking how animation looks like on the beginning when uh, with the frame first is like this and go one full movement on the very end. It looks like the same. So it's how the, 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 the main developer figure it out. I honestly very like this idea. It's very useful and pretty understandable. Um, let's check it out with the offset like 180 to make some comparison. Okay, as you can see, it's already starting in different different place in, because we have only four stripes, not five, but see the movement. And now we have we have five because we forced that animation, that object to switch in a half of the of the round so it was like in the middle and here is the end you can you can observe that the same the same situation with the first one of uh, first animation if we go to the middle of the animation in 112 so when this uh, for this animation is like 180 degrees because we are in the middle of the 360 obviously then it looks like the same uh, the same like this one all right but we don't need this one for now and this one is a bit too long because we just we are just about to start the new phrase send it to timeline and see how it looks like okay now we can hear that the proper frame is over here so if we third or fourth time are missing the one frame that it's some suggestion for us that we should change the animation length and make it like 113 and now it's better okay it's fitting perfectly so still try to continue the, the animation and one of the most probably obvious moves right now, of course, if we would like to continue this one, is to change the direction of the movement. The last time it goes from the right to the left, this one with offset, um, with offset for the second direction, it should go from the left to the right. Let's check if that's true. Yes, of course, that's true. So we can send it, whoops, we forgot to change the 
animation place and we, uh, we don't want to replace this one just we would like to put new one so red line which is our marker go and send to timeline <laughs> All right, we are at the very end of the build up. So we have to make something spectacular, right? That's pretty obvious. So let's check where is the start of new tact. Yeah, that's what I thought. This time, this time we have a bit too long animation because the drum beat of the new tact is somewhere over here. But okay, let's go with uh, this frame. Let's delete this one. Let's change the animation length to this one because we don't want to make too far. Let's hear the playback, what we have in the music. Now we know everything. So this part of the song suggests us that we have to hit with something very, very good, very, very hard with something fitting to the music. Let's make it shake from left to the right a few times. This one is with the changed pace. Let's keep it forward because we would like to keep it symmetrical, kinda. Draw a line. Let's check it out. Okay. Okay. It's pretty nice, not bad, but we can make it a bit better by changing the color. Let's change from the purple to blue, also four times, but other with other type of transition. Reapply colors. Click and check it. Okay. Send to timeline, and that's the most important part of the song right before the drop okay that's 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 that, that will be pretty important we can't mess it up Okay, let's delete it. Okay, and we can hear that we have like one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. In this part, we have some weird thing. So let's focus on this part first. And I hope you remember something about the scope. So let's finish our uh, scope here and focus only on this part. And we have something like this. Dum 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 dum. Dum 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 Okay, we can make something funny and unexpected let's go with the yellow and with the black why with the black because black give us strobe vibes and since we have three um we need three transition from the color to the black because we have doom 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 three times one two three then let's try with repeat three on that scope only and with solid line circle 
let's click A, this is the middle, and let's check what happens. I think you get the point and understand my idea. <laughs> That's exactly what I wanted to do. So let's check, uh, change the repeat to one because now we have create something funny and fancy only for this part. So let's keep the shift, click and hold the left mouse and hold to the, to, till the end. Now we can see the scope from 87 till the last frame. And we can go with this dashed uh, stroke type, only this color, and offset 316. In this situation, when we go with the circle, the offset will mean how many degrees the circle will be spinning around. So in this uh, case, it will make full one circle one because 360 degrees is full circle and only one because we have repeat one with the linear curve type and of course one thing since we have only that much not much uh, actually frames selected then it should happen very fast so let's find the um, middle all right and in this uh, situation our circle look looks pretty bad because it's like one two three four dashes so we have to change that delete and make frequency 4.5 let's check it one more time and now we have very good and symmetrical dashed circle Let's check the animation from the beginning. Okay, it's nice, but I think that the last part could go more crazy because of that. Whoa! 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 So let's delete it and make it faster by clicking, by changing repeat to three and see what will happen. Yeah, I love it. You can click I, it's like I stand for insert. We were finished in perfect place because that's the very, the very beginning of the new phrase of the drop. You will learn that, believe me. So let's check how our animation looks like, our full build up. I don't know how about you, but I love it. Let's check it with the live projection. Don't forget to click later on. It's ready. Prepare your snacks and watch. Okay, perfect. That's all for uh, for now, for this episode, which is pretty long. Keep practice. Uh, you will, of course, find those animations, those frames, and all materials to that course. So, if you would like to try to reproduce it or compare with your own animations created the same way, feel free and let me know how it's done. Thank you, and see you next episode where we gonna check some even better animations. Keep it up. <laughs>